this son of a bitch and fucking uh, probably and I don't know what that is there. B probably B. Okay. Well, hey guys, how's she going today? Well, I've read all your suggestions, so I think I've got my list of what I'm going to do for your Christmas video there, but we uh, tried this air seat out here, and uh, it's way too tall. <laughs> I kind of figured it would be, but I thought it'd be closer than that, but no, it's not even remotely close, so. Dad's trying to get the dogs in here. Buster! Come here, butter boy. How's Buster? Hey. Anyway, so it's way too tall. So, we're gonna put the old hydraulic seat back in and I'm going to get a new accumulator because that's why we were gonna get rid of it. The accumulator leaks like a sieve, but... Oh well, what do you do? But, uh, yeah. We got it started and had to move it so we could get this loader mount on over here. But uh, other than that, Dad just kind of started working on the hydraulics, but it's coffee time here now, so I'm going to run up to the house here too. But we got the cables and the wiring, everything plumbed through, and he was working on the valves over there trying to figure out how one was going to do it. And I was working on putting my new stickers on. Doesn't that look nice? <whistles> this one here, I gotta peel it off yet, but... Anyway, that's kind of what the plan is for today. I, uh, I just have the one stripe on on this side. I gotta put the lay on there. You can still kind of see where the old sticker was. And then there's a stripe there, and then there's a big lay-on, no, a 1000 that goes there with a lay-on, that's how it was, so I'll have to move those hydraulics out of the way and put them there, but anyway, I'm going to go have a drink and I'll talk to you guys again in a bit when we get back out to the shop here. Right, butter? Hey, butter boy. Hey, who's a good dog? Anyway. We'll talk to you again here in a little bit. Maybe now you can see. No, not really, sorta. Anyway, I'm working on putting uh, the cab kit in here now. It comes with glue and what have you, but uh, it's kind of a <clears throat> pain in the ass still just the same, but I've got the two back pillars done here and uh, you can tell it's kind of a cheaper kit because the holes don't 100% line up but oh well I can live with it so I'm uh, gonna keep working on putting these in here I kind of need both hands to do it but I've got a sheet of cardboard here and uh, I just kind of hold it up like this so I don't get any overspray. And uh, you spray the pillar down and then this and you leave it for <clears throat> two to five minutes or until you can touch it and it's tacky but it doesn't stick to your fingers. So I'm, uh, I'll get it glued and I'll show you what it looks like. Yeah, I'm getting high up here. Can I open the back window? Sure, if you want. Oh, Thank you, Kevin. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys something here. So you don't do the same thing I did. If you're going to buy a cab kit, just get one from Deer. 
don't buy one of these fucking cheap pieces of shit. None of the holes line up, nothing. So I measured here, cause this side here is all half fucked too because of that. This hole is not in the right spot, so it pushed this forward. So it's not sitting in the right spot. This here, they got their holes marked out in the center. Well, can you even see that? They're not centered on the pillar, they're back. So they've got them in the middle. So well, I cut the hole out and tried to move it over. Well, that's fine, that worked good. Now this fucking hole here to line up with this, where it actually lines up with is right here. See that? So there's gonna be two holes in it. I'm not putting any more in here. Fuck them. $1,200 in, give me my money back. That's pathetic. I won't tell you the name of the company, but just buy one from John Deere. Don't even worry about it. This is just pathetic. <laughs> anyway, there's my rant for you. I'm going to have a drink. I'll come back later and we'll find something else to work on. <laughs> Fucking junk. Anyway, it's the next day, <clears throat> and yeah, Dad's busy making a bracket for the steps on the other side. I'll show you that after, but we got our valve all mounted yesterday. So what we got to do now is measure our hoses that we're going to need, and then our uh, female ends that are going to go on here to attach the loader hydraulics too and joystick and everything's all done and I started putting more of that cab kit in what a fucking disaster of the thing that is <clears throat> I can't uh, <clears throat> losing my damn voice I can't get up there we're right now because this isn't uh, secured how it's gonna be yet well that's how it's gonna be but it's got to get attached there yet so that'll be kind of nice, but got the headliner and I was working on putting the bezel in, <clears throat> but their headliner is too far ahead and it can't move back anymore, otherwise you end up covering up half your uh, hole for the air filter. So I take a bunch of pictures of all these things that are wrong with it and tell them I want some money back because I've had to customize every fucking piece of it so far. <clears throat> and cut that so I can try to get the screws in there, but I mean, I think the brown looks kind of cool though anyways. Wouldn't you agree? But, that's kind of where we're at for now, so we're going to run to town here in a little bit, get some hoses and what have you. And we'll talk to you again here in a bit. People are always asking for Antoine to say more than three or four words, but actually, I think I figured out how to get him to talk. What'd you buy yesterday, Antoine? Truck. Yeah, what kind? Yes. Tell us the stories, Antoine. Tell us all about it. Come on. Oh. What, what is, is it? Red. Is it girlfriend approved? I think so. You take it for a romp in it yet? No. So the seats are still good then? Yes. Don't need the covers on it? No. Okay, tell a little bit more then. What'd you get with it for free? A whole bunch of stuff. Like? Talk loud, man! What'd you get with it? Hooker headers? Yeah. What kind of motor? Oh, the whole, the whole, 460, the whole 460 Dodge oh, motor? No, oh, what is it then? Oh, a 350 yeah. Chevy, the best motor ever made. Handed right to us from God himself. Right? <laughs> yeah, Cummins people are a little bit off par anyways. <laughs> There's a few of them on here. Same with them 7-3 people. Especially ones that drive around in a white one. <laughs> them goat farmers from out by Momart and their jean jackets. <laughs> The seven tree into Mason Jar Coffee. <laughs> anyway, we'll leave Twan alone again. We'll try to get him to talk more one day, heroes. Pull a gun on him, maybe. Right? Yes. 
start slowly walking towards your blue truck with the flame going here. <laughs> uh, anyways. So, we got our valve here and some of the hoses and things made for it. Antoine, just while you're wheeling the threads off because we need that nipple there. And then there's gonna be, uh, the couplers are gonna go on here, your female ends. So two at 90s and then two straight up. They'll all, you know, into there. And then uh, it's gonna feed, it feeds in here and loops out into here and then returns. So we gotta make a few more hoses, but we're gonna try and get the loader on and then we'll know uh, a little bit better where things are gonna end up and what all we need, right Tuan? Right Tuan? You know, if we could keep track, he says one word per clip, that might add up to a few more than three words per video. He'll talk one day. See, I asked them what they wanted for a Christmas special and the renowning one was Antoine make a video, so I'll have to, you've made clips, but they want a whole video of just Tuan wandering around videoing things. Wandering around, talking about all his experiences with them. Walking like this, how he doesn't he? Yeah, we're gonna go over here to the, over to the bench. Get the, all right, going back here again. Mumbling, talking to myself. You know, this fucking thing, I'm gonna go. Right, Tuan? Yeah. <laughs> you guys have been asking about this guy. Where is he? Why haven't you seen him for a while? Here's the 5010. You can see all over the floor and there's no brakes. The bottom of the cap on the brake pot uh, split open. So I don't know if it had gotten water in it while it was sitting out in the back there for 20 odd years or uh, what happened and then the water got into it and it cracked after, you know, frozen, unthawed and froze and thawed and whatever, but it let go. So I'm waiting on a welding shop to uh, weld it because it's cast and that's a little bit beyond my level of expertise but I figured since I was walking over here to get these couplers I would uh, show you him now you know why you haven't seen him for a bit but anyways I need these John Deere to pioneer adapters so I'm gonna pop these off and I'll talk to you again in a few What do you think, Keeg? Don't know, you're just gonna sweep? All right. <laughs> well, we got it most of the way on, but the loader's sitting kinda at an angle and we gotta move the tractor like Austin Powers here to get it lined up the rest of the way, but we've got a few minor adjustments we gotta make on the mounts. Nothing too crazy, but it's supper time now anyways, so. It'll probably be waiting until tomorrow now for the rest of it, but it looks pretty sweet anyway. Made to measure. I'll hop up in there and show you what it looks like out the out the window. Look at this though. Man, that's nice. We're gonna put a handle on here and just fucking up into the cab. Look at that joystick, nice. Isn't that sweet? <whistles> Pretty nice. But, that's where I'm probably gonna leave you for tonight, I think. And uh, tomorrow is Christmas Eve and then Christmas after that, obviously, so. I don't think there'll be a video out till after that. 
I'll be working on the uh, the Christmas special, which will probably be more in the new year because uh, it's going to take a little bit of work, some of your ideas, but I'm going to make it happen for you. Some of them are going to be full episodes, I think, like the equipment tour and what have you, but we'll see how she works out and I'll get her done for you. But anyway, for now, that is make sure you hit the like button and subscribe for more. What are you doing, Twan? You like that bright light? It really illuminates their eyeshadow, though. Where'd he go? <laughs> there he is. <laughs> anyway, that's where I'm going to leave you for now. So, <clears throat> I guess, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a happy and safe and Merry Christmas. And me and Twan will talk to you in the next one. Right, Twan? He says he doubts it. <laughs>